Oh, hey there. We're the Golden Gophers. I'm Nick Coco. I'm Eric Himmler. I'm Stefan Letica. And I'm Zach Bauer. Here we are doing research. This was the most important part of our process. Figuring out a concrete mix and making a design of the canoe on Inventor was very important to our final product. This is Autodesk Inventor. This is what we use to draw our canoe design. The shell and loft commands were the most important in creating the mold. This is our final design in Inventor. It took many hours of very, very hard work, and we are proud of it. Our concrete mix consisted of crack-resistant concrete, foam, and water. Special thanks go out to the NCSU Concrete Canoe Team for providing our foam aggregate. The actual mixing of the concrete was a laborious process. Not only does mixing concrete by hand tire out your arms, but concrete mix also has Portland cement, which is basic and may cause minor chemical burns. Making sure the canoe held its shape while drying was also important. We used fiberglass window screen to give the concrete something to bind to and used straws to hold up the sides during drying. We also had to figure out how to prevent water leakage. Enamel spray paint not only improved the aesthetics of our canoe, but it also acted as a sealant. Believe it or not, size also matters. 3D printers can only print objects up to a certain size, but that size is smaller than the maximum total size of the canoe. This ended up impeding our performance and freshman engineering design day. In the end, we were successful in creating a floating concrete canoe. Therefore, we were very pleased with what we ended up bringing to Freshman Engineering Design Day. This was our Golden Gopher Concrete Canoe. It weighed 259 grams, but ended up holding 374 grams. That's 1.44 times its weight. We felt that our canoe would be a strong contender in the contest. But alas, it was not. We ended up finishing near the bottom of the list of teams. Our canoe was much too small to hold the amount of weight that the full-size canoes held. We were mildly disappointed. Sad face. If we were to do this again, we would have changed our molding process to provide a full-size canoe. Sadly, the 3D printer does not allow for a canoe of the maximum dimensions allowed. This is what ended up sinking our bid for victory. We would probably use a foam block to create a mold if we had to do this again. Also, we would have began painting earlier and we would have invested more time in properly painting the canoe. The spray paint ended up making a mess, and the concrete was not completely sealed. Sadly, there was a leak. Our advice to the future freshman classes is to stay ahead of schedule. By getting things done early, you can provide ample time to fix any problems that may arise. It also allows for plenty of extra time to help keep stress at bay. You know what I'm saying? Also, the future freshmen should make sure that they have everything they'll need before they begin whatever project they have been assigned. This prevents hang-ups in the production process and makes your life a lot easier. Also, use all of the resources that NC State provides. Not only are there a bunch of people who are willing to help you with the projects, but we also have access to a state-of-the-art technology like the 3D printers at Hunt Library. I love those things. We feel that through our Freshman Engineering Design Day project, we gained a greater appreciation for engineers and everything they do. Because engineers really put in work for everything that's around us. Our cars, our homes, even the school we go to. One of my most memorable moments of this entire project was utilizing the 3D printer as our mold. It is one of the many resources we have on campus, and it's just such a cool thing that we were able to do. I've never been able to use one before, and I quite enjoyed it. I think what was probably more fun about this project than any project I've ever done in the past is I got to work with some new people, and I made some pretty good friends. These are some cool guys. Uh, we were able to work together, bounce ideas off of one another, and really came out with a pretty good final project. And I'm very proud of my work and what we've done together. When I started this project, I didn't really know that much about concrete or canoes. And now that we're done with the project, I still don't know that much about concrete or canoes. I think I'm just going to stick with aerospace. <sighs> Testing. Engineer log day one. I've been stranded in this 
concrete canoe for I don't know how long. No signs of life. Just been floating. I keep putting pebbles in here. I don't know where the pebbles are coming from. I really hope we can survive. Just a few more pebbles and I feel like we're going to sink. This wasn't built for this.